So guys, um, welcome to an odd video. Not sure how this video is going to turn out or even if I'm going to upload it or what I'm going to call it because it all depends on the outcome. Uh, basically, I'm sitting in front of my triple monitor setup, as you can tell. Um, I've moved this one out of the way so that I could easily access the controls on the Dell, just in case you're wondering. Um, and if we look down at the back of my video card, you can see I've just got the VGA plugged in. That's because at the moment I'm facing some issues with my Mac Pro and I don't actually know what's happening. Um, I've just spent the last half an hour or so troubleshooting it. Now I've just turned the turned the machine on, and as you can hear by the audio, to this little box. Let's see what we've got in here. In here. It's actually playing my uh, YouTube video, the gaming stock YouTube video, because I was on that video page, and I restarted my Mac because of a security update. I believe it was just a security update anyway, and now I have no video, which is. Mm, vaguely intriguing. Um, now, I'm trying a load of different stuff. Obviously, I can't shut the machine down, so I'm ha I'm, I've got to hard power it down every time, which is proving to be a bit of a, a painstaking process. Now, I have actually, I don't know if you can tell, but I've taken the stuff off the top of the Mac. I have actually removed the graphics card and reseated it uh, and done all the usual stuff, which is very scary. I've tried all the different display combinations. Um, so I really do not know what is happening. So I just looked in the side panel and the GPU fan is indeed spinning. So, um, yeah, the graphics card is powered up. I don't know if the graphics card has died or what, but it seems a bit weird with a security update. As far as I'm aware, it was just a security update. But what I'm going to do is update on my MacBook Pro to see um, exactly what the updates were. And if there was an OS update, there may be an issue with my PC graphics card, which is uh, a big annoyance. But there shouldn't be, because it's a 600 series. So if there was, then um, there'd be an issue with every, every Mac running a 600 series card, which, including the laptops, is quite a lot. So this is the exact same thing that happened on my Mac Pro, guys. Basically, um, it is still running 10.10.2. There is no OS update. It's just a security update. So I'm going to update my MacBook Pro. Well, it's going to update itself. It's just counting down at the moment. In fact, I'll actually click it right now so we can see it live on camera. Um, I did this on my Mac Pro literally a minute ago, and it's when it restarted after this process, that's when I had no video, which I find very odd um, and quite scary. I've powered the Mac Pro off because the YouTube video is about halfway through, I believe, and the YouTube video is actually a really good indication that the Mac has booted up properly. Um, now, I tried screen sharing, but for some strange reason I can't have the option. I can only connect for file sharing. Now, that's one of two things. Either it's because of um, the fact that I don't have screen sharing enabled on the Mac Pro, which is highly likely because I've never used it on the Mac Pro. I've never needed to. Um, but having said that, I should have enabled it because I normally enable it for a just-in-case scenario like this. Um, option number two is it doesn't show screen sharing as an option because there's something wrong with the graphics and it can't produce the graphics. But I'm not sure if you can screen share without a GPU anyway. I don't really know. I think you can, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so as you can see, my Mac MacBook Pro is actually booted up 100% fine. So I've just typed in my password and boom, we are logged in. So yeah, that is fine. And all it is, is a security update. Um, so if I actually just go into about this Mac really quickly, let's just quit that and see if it's still 10.2. Um, yeah, it's still 10.2. Automatically update OS 10. You can change the setting, blah, blah. Um, not now. Yes, yeah, so that is fairly strange, guys. I don't know what's happening there. My Mac Pro is well and truly uh, not working at this moment in time, so that is really annoying because, as you guys know, literally yesterday I redid the whole setup and everything looks perfect under there. Um, so that is so, so annoying. And I can't run three displays off of this. I don't have the cabling at the moment, so... Ooh, that is not good. And I believe you can only run two externals off this anyway. Uh, Thunderbolt, HDMI, and um, and the actual internal display. Or you may be able to run three externals. I'm not even too sure. But um, 
yeah, this is odd. The only thing I haven't tried is HDMI only. So I'm going to try HDMI only, see if it boots up on the HDMI monitor. And um, uh, I can't see it booting up, to be honest. So I have just the HDMI connected. Um, I have reset the PRAM as well, guys. That's why the bong is so loud. Um, so we'll see if it boots up on that monitor there, which is the HDMI monitor. Um, but I can't imagine that it will. It's never been fussy with the triple monitors before or the dual monitors, so I can't imagine it's just started being fussy now. If anything, I'd say the entire graphics card has gone completely uh, completely messed up. But we'll soon be able to tell because we'll be able to hear my voice talking on the YouTube video. That's, that's what's odd. Um, I would assume that the system wouldn't boot up correctly if the video card wasn't working because the video card has the ability to hang the entire system. Unless it, the video card is working fine in the eyes of the machine, but it's the output stages that aren't, or something like that. I don't even know, really. Um, so as you can tell, it's doing nothing. This thing's got an SSD in it, so it boots up blazing. Um, yeah. We're booted up, as you can tell. It's not playing the YouTube video. I don't know why. Maybe it's still loading it. Um, but... Damn, this is weird. Okay, I'm going to do some Googling, guys. Um, I've tr already tried to enable screen sharing remotely, but I do not have the uh, intelligence to do so. It's an extremely nerdy process, as I call it. Yeah, they're worth quite a bit. There we go. It's playing, uh, playing the video. The best title going. Um, they could be better, but they could be a lot worse, actually. Yeah, so it is, it is working. I'm going to um, force shut it down again. Now, of course, it's not an ideal scenario running a PC graphics card in your Mac Pro. Um, and this may be a slight indication as to things that I may have to suffer with in the future with the Hackintosh. Um, you know, lack of stability. But this GT640 has been flawless since I installed it, and it's got to be installed for about two years now, maybe. Um, maybe even longer, I don't know. But man, this is, this is I don't know what to say, really. It's no, it's no real use. I said I was going to Google stuff, but there's nothing you can really Google, because everyone's got different scenarios, obviously. Um, you can't specifically Google, oh, I've got a GT600 series graphics card, and uh, after I did a security update, there's nothing on my screens. Please help. I've got a Mac Pro 2008. You know, there's no one out there that's in the same shoes as me at the moment. At least in the Hackintosh um, world, there are people out there with the same motherboards and the same video cards all over the place. So you can normally just find out what to do. Having said that, I am under the impression that the card may have broken. Um, but I don't know. It's weird because I had no trouble with it before. So it's got to be something really, really peculiar. I just don't know what it is. Um, and I feel kind of useless. I'm racking my brains, but I have no idea. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, the only other graphics card I actually have, which is PCIe, um, pretty much, that may even have the slightest hint of working in OS X, is this Radeon HD5450. Now, I do have an 8600 GT or an 8800 GT, but I know that that's not going to work in... Uh, in the OS that I'm running, whatever it's called, Yosemite. So I've got this. This was donated a little while ago. And I'm glad I kept it, nearly gave it away the other day. Um, now, my thinking is, the 5000 series Radeon cards are still supported in OS X. They have universal drivers across the board, so there's no difference between a driver for 5770 um, or a 5450, which is what this is. However, we're still talking. Um, we're still talking a massive possibility that this will not work because um, I just don't know. Because 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 I don't really know much about this kind of thing, guys. But anyway, here it is. 5450, crappy crappy card, um, but it's worth a go. And it's actually got the same outputs as this uh, GT640, which is which is quite interesting. So I'm going to slam this into the Mac Pro and see if it works. So I thought I'd show you guys inside here. I know crappy lighting and everything, but there's the GT640 in the bottom. There is the HD5450 at the top. 
Um, so it's going to be intriguing to see if that boots up. And uh, in case anyone is wondering, I have a two terabyte caviar green there. That's meant to be in the MDD. I've got the wrong drives and the wrong machines. Uh, the two terabyte black that I own is in the MDD. So that was a bit of a cock up. Um, but yeah, the SSD is in there. The one terabyte for iTunes is there. And uh, that's my two terabyte. Um, I'm actually using this for Final Cut libraries and keeping very small libraries, then moving them onto here. But anyway, that's not the the object of this video. We really need to see if this is going to work. I'm not even sure if the card itself works, and I don't even know if the damn card is compatible with OS X. Um, but right now, I am clutching at straws to say the least, so uh, really hope it works. So just keeping it simple for now, we have DVI connected on the top video card. Just to see if it'll come up on the center monitor. Mac Pro's left a bit of dust. It is uh, quite good at doing that. Okay, let's see if we get anything on the center monitor when it boots up. Oh, there's always something, guys. There is always something. I'm just so thankful that I've got a powerful MacBook Pro in case this Mac Pro is toast. Oh, no, 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 come on. Oh, as you can hear, guys, it's playing the YouTube video. I'm going to try a couple of different display combinations and whatnot to see if it gives us anything, but don't hold your breath. Absolutely nothing, guys, absolutely nothing. Uh, nothing from either of the cards in any kind of combination, so... Yeah, that's not cool. Um, next step, I'm going to get my MacBook Pro and plug it in to the HDMI monitor just to see if there's anything weird going on with the setup overall in terms of uh, signal distribution or anything like that, but I really doubt it. I assume if I plug the HDMI into the side of my MacBook Pro, it's going to ping straight up on the monitor. Um, in fact, why not just try it now? Here's the HDMI connector and here's my laptop. So let's just give it a go now. I know this video is a little rough in terms of filming and whatnot, guys, but desperate times, desperate measures and all that. The cable isn't actually long enough. So if I just pop it in, where is the HDMI? This one. If I pop it in there, yeah, it's working. Bloody hell. So just after we get the setup working all nicely, guys, something has to come and screw it up like this. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I need to get on with my day, it's already... Bloody hell, it's already 20 to 3 nearly. Um, oh, God. Right. Basically, I've got this cable, which is mini display port to DVI. And as you know, I have HDMI stream coming off. So what I'm going to do is use that as my center DVI monitor, use that as my HDMI monitor running off the MacBook Pro. That will be running nothing, um, but at the moment, to be honest, I could not care. The, Mac Pro, the MacBook Pro does not have an Ethernet port, and I do not have the adapter, before anyone asks. Uh, so I'll have to run it Wi-Fi, which is okay, but my router is um, wireless G maximum, I think, so uh, transfer rates of files will be a little slow between my MacBook Pro and the server. I'm just thinking out loud at the moment, guys. Um, basically, yeah, okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Um, okay, what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm, uh, I'm panicking slightly, as you may or may not be able to tell. You know, my main workhorse that's been my workhorse since January of 2011 has gone down for the first time ever. So, yeah, even though I've got a lovely Quad i7 machine that is actually faster than it, I'm still gathering myself together here and trying to uh, come up with some form of uh, some form of solution. So, I'm going to use my MacBook Pro in clamshell mode. I have no option. Um, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, this is presenting quite a few problems for me, guys. Quite a few. Okay, I'm glad I've got file sharing enabled on the Mac Pro. That makes my life a lot easier. Basically, what I'm going to do is retrieve... Right, I'm going to order a couple of things on Amazon. I need a few things. I need a 3.5-inch hard drive dock. I need a... Uh, what else do I need? Yeah, Thunderbolt 2 Ethernet. What else did I think of? 
there was something else. Oh, and a brand new external hard drive, just so I can back everything up properly. Um, big six terabyte one or something like that, get everything backed up properly. So this is going to be a struggle, but it's going to be something. Now, if anyone has any suggestions as to what could be wrong with my Mac Pro, at this moment in time, I'm open to try anything. The facts are, in case anyone's not aware, I'm running a PC GT640 in my Mac Pro that's been working flawlessly since day one. It does not require flashing to work with OS X, um, because OS X has native support for 600 series cards. I've been using the NVIDIA web drivers because they are a little bit faster from my experience. That may have something to do with it, but I've reset the NVRAM so it should go back to default OS X drivers. So that has nothing to do with it. Um, so basically I'm a bit stumped there, but that's, that's the basic scenario. I do not have a Mac original graphics card to try. I've tried the HD 5450 with no luck, um, but I don't... I don't know if that card works in OS X anyway. I just thought it may have given us something. So I'm going to rejig the setup, uh, ruin some of my neat cabling, and we're going to try and get a working setup so that I can uh, carry on pumping out videos and doing what's important, which is, you know, using my computer setup. So, yeah. Well, yeah, this happened, and um, it doesn't look half bad. It doesn't look half bad at all, guys. Still got a triple monitor setup, technically. It's just one of them has shrunk by five inches. Um, but you know, that's okay. Um, basically, as you guys can see, I've resurrected my Griffin Elevator laptop stand from the dead. This is uh, a shout out to all of you who used to watch me when I had a white MacBook. And uh, as you know, that was my first Mac. And it's nice to use the stand again. I used it temporarily for my PowerBook a couple of times in around 2010, 2011. Um, no, 2011, 2012 then, I guess. Oh no, maybe just 2011. But uh, yeah, as you can see, fits my MacBook Pro nicely. Basically how I've got everything hooked up at the moment is I've got audio and USB uh, from the KVM. That is um, keyboard and mouse on the USB and audio on the audio, of course. Then coming out the Thunderbolt there, I've got the center monitor running DVI. It looks really nice. And then this side, I've got a USB for my Time Machine drive from my Mac Pro because all my files are on there, which is cool. Um, I haven't got, I'm not using it as Time Machine on this one obviously, I'm just using it as an external drive. And the other one is HDMI for this monitor. So, um, the score is guys, I'm basically going to get a USB hub to allow me to plug in uh, the microphone and all that stuff. And I'm going to get a three and a half inch hard drive dock very soon because I want to back up a couple of the hard drives from the Mac Pro again. As you can see the Mac Pro is gone, I moved it out of the way. Um, to get all the cabling sorted, but um, I'll be putting it back. So yeah, this is what my desk setup is looking like now, and mm, I, I really don't know what to say about it all. It's kind of crazy, but here it is. Well, everyone, this is the last clip in this video. Um, thank you for your perseverance and patience during this video. It has definitely been uh, a tricky one, and I've mumbled quite a bit and whatnot, um, because this is quite a shocking thing to happen today. Um, I was just minding my own business and this is basically what happened. So, a bit crazy and it's wasted a day to be perfectly honest. Um, not that all the time is gone, it is uh, 25 to 4, um, you know, there's plenty of time left in the day but it's sort of like a, um, a kind of, uh, what do you call it, well, what the hell am I trying to say here, let me think, um, it kind of knocks you a little bit out of sync when something like this happens, you know. So today I was actually going to uh, benchmark the gaming PC and prepare it for sale, um, but I'm not going to do that today now because of the complications I've had with the setup. Because as you guys know, I wired up perfectly in yesterday's video so that I could just drag a KVM stem out of the bottom of there and plug it into any PC that I needed to test or whatever, and it would run on my center monitor with my speakers, keyboard, and mouse, which is ideal. Um, and of course, I've got a load of three ethernet jacks there and I can jack right in with ethernet as well, a small ethernet patch cable that I've got handy underneath the shelf as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, have a couple of days of this set up now before I fiddle with it again because this is pretty much working quite well now. Um, a couple of little notes then guys. The Mac Pro, as you can see, is still hooked up. It's hooked up to the other KVM stem and uh, to one of the displays to just the, the center one, because as you know, I've taken that monitor off. Um, so, it's cool because it's still there, powered up and everything. 
um, I can always boot it up and test it to see if it's decided to work again. Um, so I will be doing that later on, and then if it's not working, I'll do it again tomorrow. Um, but I'm not too gutted about this MacBook Pro setup. The main downside about this setup is it, I normally leave videos exporting or compressing or rendering or whatever when I'm doing something else outside of the house. So when I go to work or whatever, or if I go somewhere and I take my MacBook Pro with me, I leave the Mac Pro slogging away here. Obviously, I can't do that because um, I don't have like a, a workhorse machine now because the MacBook Pro will have to come with me. So I may have some complications and I might have to... Um, work on my timing a little better when it comes to editing and filming and stuff, which may be a pain in the ass, especially with the Hackintosh project on the way. Um, also, another annoying thing is I do not have my scratch disc on the MacBook Pro. It's all right to edit the odd project here and there like I do on the road, maybe one every two weeks or one every three weeks, but as the main five videos a week uh, workhorse, I'm going to need to sort out hard drives. So. I'm going to open up all of my documentation uh, related to my data and how it's spread across the uh, seven or eight hard drives that I own in both internal and external form with their backups and whatnot to see how I can manipulate the setup with spending as little money as possible on new drives in order to incorporate uh, a scratch disk into this MacBook Pro setup effectively without deleting any backups. Uh, on another note, uh, I'll need a USB hub, so I'll get a USB 3.0 hub, and I'll also need a Thunderbolt to FireWire adapter for my eyesight. I'm going to stick with Wi-Fi for now, it seems to be working fine. Uh, if not, I have seen that you can get USB 3.0 hubs with gigabit Ethernet jacks on them, so I'm not sure how well they work, um, but I'll definitely look into that. And yeah, another annoying thing is, obviously, I don't have a dock for this. So unplugging and plugging everything in every single time is going to be so annoying. Um, I just really don't know what to say about this, guys. It's completely gutting. But oh well. Things like this happen. And uh, I'm not 100% sure that it's a GPU failure. But I think it may be. Um, so massive thank you for watching, guys. I hate to end Friday on a, on a sad note. But it is quite a sad note. And... Uh, Oh, also, I've got the stress of getting my iTunes library sorted. I did try and seek it from the time machine. Um, so I held option, started up iTunes, and pointed it towards the library that's stored on time machine. But naturally, there's permissions problems because it's a time machine disk. So iTunes is not happy reading from that disk uh, my entire library. So, yeah, I'm going to get a hard drive dock and stuff like that to get by a couple of these things for now. But I do need a hub and stuff. So... I uh, look forward to me spending further triple figures in Amazon um, that I didn't want to spend. And this may possibly put a delay on the Hackintosh project. Really hope it doesn't, but it may do. Especially if I need to buy a new GPU for this. Um, but hopefully I can just get another GT640 and that'll be, you know, £30, £40 at the most. So, yeah, that won't affect it too much. Anyway, rambling over. Hope you all have a brilliant weekend. If there's any change to the situation, then I'll update you guys on Monday. But this, this is the first time since since January of 2011 that I've been without my Mac Pro. So this is kind of an iconic video. I was just speaking to Matt, um, the guy that gave the donation a couple of videos ago. Uh, he's a great guy. I speak to him on Facebook quite a bit. Um, he just suggested something that I hadn't even thought of, and that is if I get a, fire, if I get a Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter, I should still be able to use my Mac Pro scratch discs in Final Cut. So he's got a very good point here. And if I can do that, then it will actually save a lot of hassle in terms of hard drives. So I do not have an adapter, so before I mess around ordering hard drives and wasting money, I'm going to get a Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter, along with a uh, you know decent 3 or 4 meter length Firewire 800 cable, and an 800 to 400 adapter, so that I can use my eyesight if I choose to do so. Of course, I won't be able to use my eyesight the... the uh, Mac Pro and the centre display simultaneously, but you know that's no big deal. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Also, we found this on Gumtree. Um, this is a, a GT650 that's in Bridge End, a GTX650. Sorry, guys, that's in Bridge End, which is actually pretty close to me. It's not close, close. It's probably about um, 40, 45 minutes away. At a guess. Um, and it's up here for £40, and it's been on here for a while, so he'd probably knock down, as Matt said. So, yeah, um, 
that's actually pretty cool. I may chase that up if I if it does turn out to be the uh, the graphics card, but I do need to sleep on it because I don't have a clue what's going wrong with my Mac Pro. Um, yeah, it's just odd for the graphics card to randomly stop working after a restart. I don't understand. But anyway, massive thank you to Matt and Christian. I'm speaking to them both on Facebook at the moment. Um, we've got like a three-way chat going on, so it's pretty cool. And uh, it's always handy to talk to a couple of other geeks when this kind of thing happens straight away, you know, because obviously this is happening the day before you guys are seeing the video. So often by, by the time the video has hit YouTube, quite a lot has evolved and changed since the video. But anyway, like I say, I am indeed going, guys. I'm going to edit this video and uh, get it uploading tonight. So huge thank you for watching, uh, watching once more. Wish me the best of luck and I will see you next time.